Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jani. This is a cross stitch channel where we talk about cross stitch and projects and fabrics and plants. <laughs> and and we we love to, you know, share our love for cross stitch. <laughs> uh, this this week I want to make a little um, cross stitch report of, of my progress on these days, but I haven't stitched much. So I decided to to bring with me a few projects that I finished, um, you know, years ago. And I usually um, surround myself with my projects. I love to stitch them and frame them and put them in, in my walls and, you know, look at my projects. I really, I really love that. But I have a few projects that I finish and, then I put it in the closet. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I will show you some of, of those projects. And um, I want to, to show you a little progress, not much. Oh my God, the, the, the hair is weird. <laughs> okay. Um, because I haven't stitched much. Um, usually it's the, the, the initial phrase, you know, I haven't stitched much or I haven't stitched as much as I wanted. But I guess this couple of days, weeks, um, it has been really hard to, to focus on our stitching. Um, yeah, it's, you know, the, the, the intention, the mood is not there. There is, you know, a lot of... of of things happening and sometimes we we don't feel like express ourselves with our stitching or being creative or you know uh, having these peaceful moments and beautiful moments we we don't feel like uh, like having those uh, and it's it's difficult it, yeah it's hard to to have to trying to find that moment of peace with all this happening around us. But yeah, we, we try because I guess um, at least as, as we as teachers, having this uh, fortune of, of being able to, to create beauty with our hands and with flaws and, and fabric, it's something that we have to embrace and we have to feel proud of and, you know, keeping doing uh, that um, because it gave us strength and, and happiness and, and peace. And yeah, um, and it's something that we can share and we can live uh, making uh, beautiful things from our hands. So, yeah, um, it's not always easy, but we, we must try. <laughs> And I've been stitching um, two two projects. Uh, one is um, talking about uh, hope, <laughs> uh, Three of Hope by by Mirabilia, and I I am stitching this in um, uh, Aida sixteen that I dyed with the ice technique. And it's this beautiful uh, blue fabric, really dark and, and really unusual for this project in particular. But I think it gives uh, the, the design uh, a beautiful uh, look. And it's, it's also um, something about hope that perhaps it can be, you know, in the middle of the night. Uh, in a, a really dark place, but you will find it. So yeah, I, I really, really love this project. I am stitching this with one thread. Uh, I really uh, enjoy stitching right now with one thread of, of floss. Uh, even in this gown, which is either 16, which you usually stitch with, with two uh, threads. But I really like this, this look of... Um, skinny crosses skinny stitches and yeah I, I really really love it and of course as always with the hand dye fabrics or flosses you can really tell for real 
um, how they look in, in a photo or in a video because the light always looks different <laughs> but yeah it's a a, a pretty project <laughs> and, and another project that I've been working on just yesterday I, I took it again and I decided to to stitch a little is this um, sampler uh, this is from a magazine a French magazine it's called uh, 15 uh, flower abecedaries so alphabets and yeah I really love it I am stitching this in a Lugana 32 with that I coffee dye to you know to try to to make it a little vintage and of course I love the, the detail of the of the little doll stitched one over one and the, the roses are Gorgeous, I love it. And I didn't really know that I love stitches, stitching uh, roses until now, but yeah, <laughs> they look so pretty. And yeah, this is a, a project that I I am enjoying so much. And I, I took it again yesterday and I was stitching this uh, little, this letter uh, Z. <laughs> And it's funny because I I usually make a lot of, of uh, mistakes in my projects and they are, you know, happy accidents and I try to blend it and, you know, it's I try to, to no stress about it, but it's always um, exciting when you start a project, you know, in the middle and then you do this part and, and this border and then the flowers and then the doll and the rest of the letters and and, and this part and then you stitch you know the, this last letter and it ends where it has to end you know it's you you make this um, cross and you have to finish with the the, the tip of this flower and it match <laughs> And it's really exciting. <laughs> I mean, it's not big deal if it's, you know, a point uh, across, uh, you know, up or down or even, you know, misplaced. But it's also exciting when you make three quarters of all the project and you finish in the exact point that you have to finish. So, yeah. <laughs> and because I, I didn't stitch much, I bring some projects to, to show you <laughs> because always uh, it's um, nice to to see different projects uh, finish uh, you know finish it and it sometimes can help us as motivation so yeah for for myself and perhaps for someone who who is watching so yeah, this, these are some projects that I, I finished, but I haven't framed it, you know. Uh, but yeah, this is a Stargazer. And she is stitched in um, Lugana. This is a fabric that I got from Silk Weaver many, many years ago. And yeah, I, I, I love these projects. And, and the fabric was you know, really expensive and it took a couple of months to arrive and, you know, I I, I really love this fabric and uh, I really love using this fabric for, for this project, but it also helped me to realize that I can dye my own fabric, I can achieve this effect and I, I love to... to personalize my, my projects and the materials that I use and make my hobby, you know, more sustainable. And that is part of, of how also cre creativity works. <laughs> you know, you see something and you say, you know, I, I can I can try to, to do that. So yeah, this was one of, of those fabric that I, I was thinking, I can I can make my own fabric. <laughs> I can dye my own fabric. So yeah, uh, this is a stargazer, and 
with this project, it's, um, it's one of those designs that has a lot of, of um, you know, beatings, of course, but they, they travel so far one of each other and you have to count in the chart and it's something that I didn't do. <laughs> I just place my, my stitches and my beading accordingly with the, the pattern, but I didn't really count exactly where to, to place the all the beads and, and, and the, the crosses, but it looks fine. It It's just gorgeous. <laughs> And yeah, also with uh, these beads, I remember that I ordered, you know, all the mill heels and all the materials for, for these projects. And these, you know, uh, beads, like uh, white, off-white beads, uh, they sent me like three or four package and I used, you know, one or one and a half package. So I'm still have a lot of these beads <laughs> and sometimes i use it for for different projects but yeah sometimes in in the in the patterns they include a lot of extra materials and and not always you use that you use that that uh, you know material but well you increase your stash so that's a good thing <laughs> and yeah and i i have been um watching this uh, design uh, stitched with conversion with color conversion and it looks amazing but I don't know I, I love the the original color too it's she's so pretty so yeah uh, another one that I stitched many years ago and with this I didn't um, got the the mill heels or you know a, um, a, a hand dye fabric but I uh, use local beads and, you know, crystals that I have locally and I added all this trail of, of crystals and the fabric, it's an Aida, uh, you know, with metallic thread and it looks really pretty and I added a little color uh, to the fabric and yeah, I really love her. She's so pretty. And this is one of, of those designs that I stitched many years ago. And if I stitch her now, I will do different things. I will change the color or I would change the color of, of the, the skin. And I will I would play with the with this space in the hair, you know, adding uh, specialty stitches or metallics or, or perhaps crystals or beads because this is such a, a large space that you can do many things. So yeah, we we, we change. I, I was um, talking about it in my Spanish video. We evolve in the way we stitch. We change our taste, our methods. You know the the projects or the designs that we used to like many years ago are different from the the ones that we stitch right now, and the way we stitch is different, and we change you know through the years and through the projects, and that's fantastic. We we find our own way to do things, but we are evolving. We are changing, you know, constantly. And that is why I, I love to encourage other stitchers in, in the way that they, they, they stitch, the, the methods, methods that they use, because it's a, a personal, you know, experience. It's a, a personal learning. And we, we find our own way. And with the time we change it and we improve it, or we just make things different and that's great and and we can all learn from that process so i always try to to encourage you know new teachers or even all the teachers as me to do things the, the way they want it and and find that method that helps you know the teacher in that moment and we can change it and we can do things differently and the idea is to enjoy this process and learn from, from the process 
and from the rest of the stitchers that thankfully to, to these uh, channels or Instagram or, you know, social media, we are not alone in our corner stitching, but it's a, a community and it's a, a collective experience, you know. So, yeah, it's <laughs> it's really, really fascinating for me. Um, this is uh, another project. Um, this is Anora Corbett, uh, Minerva. And for her, I use uh, an Aida uh, 14 that I, I dyed. And I love the combination, you know, with the, the color of the fabric and the color of the of, of the design. She looks so beautiful. And, and here again, I use my, my local beads. And I, I was trying to, you know, put it <laughs> together in the in the design because they the, the local beads are larger and irregular. So but yeah, she looks so pretty. <laughs> and even though I, I love uh, Nora Nora um, Corbett designs, you know, her, her line of smaller designs. Um, I've been stitching a few of, of those. Um, I, I adore Mirabilia's because of the face. That's the main difference from me, for me with with the uh, Mirabilia designs and Nora Corbett. Not just the, the size of the project, but mostly the faces, the, the detail in the faces. It's something that I love in Mirabilia designs. So I love designs from, from Nora, Nora Corbett, Corbett design, you know, her, her smaller line but I adore the, the faces of, from, from Amirabilia. So yeah, <laughs> um, this is another uh, mermaid that I, I really enjoy stitching. This is Renaissance Mermaid. And she's stitched in a, uh, Lugana 32 that I, I hand dye. And here are the, the crystals, so pretty. And for her, of course, I, I play with the specialty stitches in her hair that I added. And I use um, some beads and crystals that I have in my stash. Again, if I would, uh, if I will stitch her again, I will change her, um, skin color <laughs> but she's so gorgeous and again here the face oh, the mirabilia face it's so pretty so yeah i love it i love it and i need to frame her and put it in my walls but i'm finishing my walls <laughs> another mermaid uh, another beautiful designs with all the crystals and the beads I love the color of the hair and, you know, the, the really, really uh, a beautiful face, but not in a cute way, but like in a, I don't care what you think about me, I'm gorgeous and I know it, <laughs> way. So yeah, I love her. And I, I remember uh, when I stitched uh, this project, you know all the beads and all the the um, all the stitching in the tail and in the hair and you feel like you are never going to end and and when once you you end you know the mermaid uh you said oh the the border is a piece of cake and i i i almost took the same time you know stitching all these details that the the mermaid it's it's so, sometimes tricky like that. You you feel like you are going to finish because it only you only have to to stitch little details and the little details details took a lot long time. So yeah, <laughs> but yeah, she, she's gorgeous and she's stitched in a cashel. It's vintage something, really pretty. And finally, um, this is a, a Quaker by. Jardin, Jardin Privé, it's my lady's Quaker, and for this design I stitched this in um, Lugana 28, and I changed the colors in, in, the, in the motifs because 
I think it's mostly black and red in the original design and I decided to change and use different colors and also I stitch this with two threads and of course you can you can see you know the the effect of of the two two threads how the the crosses look um, thicker and really pretty and right now that I am stitching you know with one thread the, the crosses look skinny and it's different ways to to stitch but yeah it's like we have different times and different process and our taste change <laughs> from time to time so yeah this is my stitchy report of the week with a little progress some old finishes and you know hoping you enjoy this this time with me talking about cross stitch and talking about projects and motivation and I know it's a really difficult time right now but we have that uh, treasure in our hands with this uh, cross stitch ability that we share so thank you for watching me um, have a, a great week take care of yourself take care of your family and I will see you in my next video